welcome. You know, as I was looking through my cruising guide for next place to go and visit, I came across uh, Baltimore County. And we're going to take a closer look at this. There's really a lot of fun things to do here. You've got swimming, sandy beaches, water sports, fishing, numerous uh, marinas for marina hopping, restaurants with docks that you can just pull right up to. It's really a very exciting kind of place. At least it looks like it to me. So let's explore Baltimore County. Well, as I mentioned, it's time to explore Baltimore County. And we're lucky enough to have not one, but two past presidents of the Baltimore County Marine Trade Association. We have John from Sunset Harbor uh, right. Marina and uh, Boatel. Mm -hmm. And we have Bob from Trade Winds Marina and Sales. Thank Gentlemen, you, welcome. We're here. Thank you for taking time to talk to us about this wonderful area. You guys have a boating guide out. Can you tell us a little bit about this? That's our, that's our uh, 17th edition of the uh, Baltimore County Waterfront Guide. We started it back in the, I guess, 1995, just to get the word out to the boaters, not just in the Baltimore County area, but all around the bay, that there's a lot to do here in Baltimore County, and this was a great way to get the word out. In fact, our, uh, our uh, local um, welcome centers up and down I-95 have this book on hand for people just transiting the area by car, just to let them know what the, the, about the waterfront here in Baltimore County. Uh, it covers the whole area from the, the, the Tapsco River to the Middle River and the Seneca and Back River, Bear Creek, all those areas are, are uh, highlighted on the map that's in, in the book with our uh, locating service for our advertisers. Um, keep in mind, in Baltimore County, there's over 70 marinas and, and yacht clubs. Wow, I there didn't are, realize there was that many things. You can, uh, about every creek you, you ride into, you'll find some kind of facility there, a marina, a boat yard. Uh, hotels, uh, there's a number of boat ramps in Baltimore County. Of course, boat yards uh, that offer either in-water storage or dry land storage. And we can't forget the restaurants, lots of waterfront restaurants in Baltimore County, all of which are uh, popular and uh, great spots to go on the weekends. Uh, so that offers uh, nightlife on the water. There's, uh, you know, water sports. Fishing, sightseeing. Um, you can be anywhere from a kayak to a 80-foot yacht in Middle River and, and Back River and, and all through Baltimore County and have a good time. I notice uh, over by Hart Miller Island, that looks like a nice sandy beach area and a great place for recreational boaters. Oh yes, and you can go ashore there. There are restrooms and campsites and, and reserve. That's part of the state park system. And they are no longer putting any dredge material in the Hart Miller Island area. It's being left as a uh, bird sanctuary and a wildlife uh, can boats anchor out there overnight? Is that a, a good anchorage area? Well, Absolutely. Yes. It's a good hard sandy bottom too, which is great. Mm -hmm. And there's a number of, uh, of the creeks that have uh, good holding ground and are protected. Yeah, we're, we're, quite a few of areas have nice anchorages for overnight uh, anchoring uh, quiet coves that are uh, popular, but always quiet. Well, looking in your guide, the Marine Trade Association also does uh, a number of events, and those events it look like help sponsor your um, uh, education fund. We do. We have uh, our fireworks extravaganza around the 4th of July, usually the Saturday before, depending on how the week plays out, right off a of barge, right in Middle River. That's been a great event for, I guess, 15, 16 years. 16. Mm -hmm. uh, that's been very popular. Uh, we've had thousands of boats in Middle River to, to watch that, plus we, you can access it by land. We, we uh, also have a bull and oyster roast in February every year that's always a sellout. We had, uh, last year was our first annual Rockin' on the River right at this location. That was a great, great event. Two local bands performed. Uh, it was a great family day on a, on a Sunday afternoon in June. It was just terrific. And all those events go towards funding our scholarship and education fund. We've been able to award over $100,000 over the years in uh, high school scholarships to 
the local area wow. uh, schools. People can come, have a great time, which, you know, I've seen some pictures of this. It really is a good time. Uh, they can have a great time and help support a worthy cause all in uh, one afternoon. It's a good yep. time. Great, great. You have the rocking on the river lets you come by boat and you can stay out on the boat or you can come ashore and, and join with everybody that's on shore. Oh, that's really cool. That is nice. That is nice. Well, talking about on the water, let's take a look at the chart and all the area that Baltimore County does cover. Yeah, we start uh, on the Patapsco River, branch off of that is Bear Creek. And that is kind of our more northern and western uh, creek, so to speak. And then we come around to Old Road Bay, and there are Jones's Creek and North Point Creek off of the bay there, that uh, Old Road Bay. And then out of Old Road Bay, we're coming around and heading a little somewhat north, northeast, uh, coming to Miller's Island. And then there is the cut to go between Miller's Island and Hart Miller Island. Now that cut, has that, is that pretty deep? Is that yes, easily it, to, easy to get through? Yeah, they just, uh, within the last two years, uh, dredged it to eight feet deep and 150 feet wide. So it's gonna stay a long time before they have to redredge that. Oh, that's good, that's yeah, good, because uh, that can cut off a lot of time getting in here from, uh, from the south. Mm -hmm. and, okay. And that was done a 50-50 deal with Baltimore County and the State uh, Waterway Improvement Fund is what provided the funding for that, for okay. boaters. And that leads us into the mouth of the uh, back river, which is a fairly long river and a fairly wide river, very, uh, calm sometimes, but then rough sometimes because it is so wide and it is a long distance. But there are a number of marinas up that way, and uh, then we come on around to a place called Hawks Cove, which is between Hart Miller Island and the land area, and then that ends you up at the mouth of Middle River. And uh, So John, that's the main entrance to Middle River then? That's right. Okay. And John may want to talk a little bit about Middle River. Uh, that is many, many, many marinas and marine services on Middle River. Yeah, that's the real concentration of marinas and boat yards and restaurants. There's so many in Middle River, all the creeks. Um, as you as you enter into Middle River, Sioux Creek is off to the port side. There's a super, super anchorage back in Sioux Creek. Uh, a couple of yacht clubs, a couple of marinas back in there, a fuel dock. As you come out and head further in the river, you'll pass Hogpen Creek which is one of the few creeks on the river that does not have any commercial facilities. It's a residential area only. Mm -hmm. uh, passing there, uh, once inside what we call the Wilson Point Light, is uh, right in the center of the river, and, and off to port there is Norman Creek. There's a couple of, uh, there's a yacht club and marina and hotel up in there. And heading up in further into the Middle River proper, there's, uh, again, more restaurants and uh, uh, several facilities up in there, marinas and boat yards. If you head into Darkhead Cove, it, it uh, ends at a lagoon that's at the old uh, uh, launch ramp area for the Glen L. Martin Company where they used to launch uh, seaplanes. Oh, neat. That's kind of a neat area. There's a skiing area back in there. There's Again, it's residential, but there's also a restaurant on that creek. Mm -hmm. Coming back out on that side of the river is Frogmortar Creek where we're resting at, uh, uh, sitting at today. A uh, number of marinas, a couple of restaurants in there. Uh, and coming out into Galloway Creek, of course, there's uh, uh, a couple of uh, marinas. Right around, if you come out of Galloway Creek in the Middle River and then head north, you'll pass Miami Beach, which is a state park, and then up into the Seneca Creek. Um, again, no restaurants up there, but there are a handful of marinas, all of which are ready to service our, our customers. So when you look at this area, and that's what I noticed when I looked at my cruising guide, it's just about every creek has something on it. It does. And if it doesn't have a facility on it, it's a great uh, scenery and anchorage area. Yep. So you've got a little bit of everything here in Baltimore County. Baltimore County has almost 175 miles of shoreline. Wow. And it's, uh, it's a treat to see it all. So what does the Baltimore Trade Association do? Well, the Marine Trades is made up of uh, marinas and boat dealers and businesses in the area that support our marine business. 
canvas makers, everything that goes into both. Even accountants and attorneys, those that do business with our businesses. Okay. And and our goal is to is to as an organization is to support those businesses in turn, and and offer education, uh, technical education. Uh, we offer we're sort of a liaison with the local government and and spearhead certain uh, promotion of certain legislative bills and uh, either with the state or the county, uh, and just represent the businesses so that visitors to the area all have a nice experience. It includes environmental cleanups and those kind of mm -hmm. activities, kind of coordinating all of that, uh, trying to make the water a better environment to be around. Well, we talked about um, some of the government initiatives. Uh, like Bob, you had an experience recently with the uh, FAA? Yes, we did. On Frogmortar Creek, uh, which is the body of water that goes by the very end of the runway of Martin State Airport uh, has a lot of boat traffic and it has a lot of sailboats and they were trying to say that because of the instrument landing approach that is necessary to be at Martin State Airport that they were going to have to institute a reduction of our waterway by about two-thirds so that sailboat masts would not interfere with airplanes on the glide path of the ILS and uh, we can understand we do not want to interfere with the airplanes but not all of the waterway has to be shut off mm -hmm. in this case just sailboats that have mass in the area of 60 feet above the waterline and we said then uh, why not let all other boats go inside just like they always have been the markers that they would otherwise put up and it took quite a bit of haggling to get it to go and uh, we kept after them and after them and they finally agreed that based on one of our recommendations was that we'll keep all sailboats outside of the 60 foot mark and that way there'll be no question about well am I really close enough to 60 or am I only 35 and therefore I'm not going to go we're not going to get into that so they agreed that if we did that, they would let it go. But they wanted to be absolutely positive nobody was going to be in there to start with. And we said, you know, a canoe, your airport runway is at least 10 feet above mean high tide. And, uh, you know, we're looking up at the runway. And, uh, <laughs> it's quite a feat because the FAA is pretty uh, picky about things. But yeah. it's that when you look at these charts, just about every creek has something for somebody. There is a lot of activity in Baltimore County. Guys, thanks so much for taking the time and explaining this to us all. I really appreciate it. Yeah, we hope everybody comes out to have a try. Yeah, you're welcome. Looking forward to seeing everybody the, here. The welcome mat is out. Come on and explore Baltimore County. You'll be back. And I'd like to give a special thanks to John for a boat tour as my boat was uh, out of commission at the time. Thank you, John. And from all the members of the Marine Trade Association of Baltimore County and BoatingCruising.com, happy and safe boating to you, your family, and friends. <laughs>